Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and <clears throat> welcome back, or well not welcome back, welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play. So, uh, in this Let's Play, obviously we'll be playing Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I had a poll ages ago it seems like uh, that asked you all what would you what you would like to see regarding a uh, Crusader Kings 2 Let's Play. Your options were a Hellenic Roman Restoration or a Zoroastrian Persian restoration. Uh, there were 10 responses, if I recall correctly. Uh, vast majority were in favor of a uh, Zoroastrian Persian restoration. So that's what we will be doing. I do want to note the goal of this series will be just to reform Persia and potentially restore the high priesthood. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. Um, Crusader Kings is one of those games where, for me, it's better to set a goal and once I accomplish that, reevaluate continuing. So for now, our only goal is restoring uh, Persia. Beyond that, I don't know. I honestly don't really care too much what he looks like. We'll set our culture to Persian, set our religion to Zoroastrian. We will make you a great eminence. I am using a couple of mods, I do want to note that. Uh, one is called Improved Genetics, the other one is Extended Bloodlines. Let's see, I'll make you stressed. Uh, I will give you the uh, Bright Trait. That'll be fine, because I'll be able to sort of even this stuff out a little bit anyway. Let's see, I will want you to be lustful. Do I want gluttonous? Not really. Well, yeah, no, not really. I don't really want slothful. Let's see. I mean, I don't mind you being in your 20s. I can sort of live with that. Uh, yeah. I can kind of live with you being in your 20s. That's shouldn't be too old. You should still have a reasonable time frame in which you can pump out children. And let's get a name. Uh, sure. Maran. That, that's a good name, I guess. Okay. Well, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of traits. I think improved genetics might have slightly modified those values. I don't know. I don't actually play CK2 that often. <laughs> Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. Oh, well, actually, wait. I don't want to forget to do this real quick. Which one do I want? For the bigger one, to be honest. There we go. And play. And we'll basically just keep the default rules that it's using. I'm pretty sure these are the default rules, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, I believe so. Let's get started. So this first part is going to be an hour. Uh, and I'm going to train... And sorry if you hear a clunk. Uh, every so often, I've got some hot chocolate next to me because it's really fucking cold where I live. Right now, it's 31 degrees Fahrenheit, feel like 23. So, yeah, let me go ahead and start my timer. So, first things first, we're going to reevaluate who's in what position. You are a much better person. Uh, you are really good, actually. Uh, you're not the greatest, but you'll get the job done for now. And I'll. Ooh, I, and I don't have somebody there. Let's go. To intrigue and I don't have 25 piety so we'll sort of have to figure this out let's record a at recruit a court physician generally those guys have pretty good uh, learning so it should even out I do want to say groom and air to be honest because it increases fertility and we'll set uh, family as our focus there. Try and further improve our stuff. Are you going to give me any good options here? 
Um, only adults, thank you. It's kind of important. Uh, nobody I'm really interested in there. Let's... Not married, not in prison. I don't mind if they're a ruler. They have to be within my diplo range. Uh, I think they will at least have to be within my religion group as a result, but culture I don't think matters nearly as much. What do I need more of? I probably want more martial, if I'm going to be completely honest. Because, uh, yeah, our martial is crap. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, best person would be you in terms of martial. Well, this, these two up here. Uh, you don't like me at all, so that's not really a choice. I guess I'll just go with you. And, of course, we'll do some prestige because this is a nobody. But we'll be fine. That's the way CK typically works at the start. And let's kick the speed up just a little. And I want to try and get back some of that prestige because it is useful. Okay, and I want you to go next door. I want you to collect taxes. I want you to train troops and you. You keep doing that. I want you to improve relations with my liege. And sorry if you hear the uh, sh house shaking. I think Quantico is doing whatever the fuck it is that they do every so often. I think we'll play on three speed. Let's see. Shortly after you spread the word of seeking the employ of a court physician, a Jewish exile appeared. Okay, well I kind of want to look at his stats, thank you. Thirteen? Well, you're the only one who's actually fit for the job. Uh, but I can't actually make you... Sadly, because you're not the right faith, I can't make you my Mobod. It's kind of important that you're Zoroastrian. So, it is slightly annoying. I do require his services, though, because having a court physician is nice. Did he have a good... He's a renowned physician, okay, so he's pretty good. Uh, sure. Um, and obviously I will never be able to convert him because in this game <laughs> all people that are Jews are impossible to convert to any religion. I think even if you have them in your prison and you say I will let you go free if you convert, they will refuse to do so. Uh, we're going to offer to join his war but we won't actually support him at all. Beyond the troops of ours that he raised himself. Oh, I suppose I could just go into here and say, give me somebody of my religion, who's a man, and we'll join my court. There. You can join. Thank you. That'll fill the job. And then I can have that person go and try and proselytize this region. It's already Zoroastrian. It's kind of one of the reasons I selected it. Uh, but the main thing I'm looking for, actually, is that he converts my court and my vassals. I don't think my vassal is Zoroastrian. No. He's not happy that I didn't give him a good position. Um, well, I can't actually give you a position right now, I'm afraid, anyway. If you convert, I can. I'm pretty sure that's the reason I can't give you any a position is because you're Sunni. And as it stands right now, I'm not allowed to give you anything. Uh, I could go ahead, yeah, let's go ahead and get the right to revoke titles, but I can't do it religiously yet, so I couldn't take this guy's title without issues. Though he's my only vassal. So outside of it costing me 25 prestige, I could do it. But I don't have 25 prestige. Ah oh, yes, designated regent. Um, I typically set my wife to be that. Or my heir, depending. Oh yes, also, let me go here and use the new sway mechanic. Try and sway my liege a little. Oh, are you coming from my territory? Yeah, I don't have the troops to fend you off, but luckily you're turning right back around, so thank you very much for that.
and then he's coming right back. Okay, he can't make up his mind as to what he wants to do. Uh, and be so because of this Crus Crusader Kings 2, it's going to be a little bit slow at the start, especially. Uh, because it's, at the start especially for us, it's going to be more of a game of intrigue. Where we will be trying to gain a duchy, specifically the Art du Jour duchy, if at all possible. Uh, but unless our liege really loves us, that ain't going to happen. And I ain't got the money to give to him. And he might die before this war is over. I've had that happen in my test runs. <clears throat> where my liege just croaks in the middle of this war. He always does this war at the start, but sometimes they croak. I guess I could raise my own levies. Tell them to follow you around. <clears throat> eh, but you still won't attack the enemy. That's been my experience with him, is that he still won't attack the enemy. Also, we need to set ourselves to not be allowed to lead an army. Ooh. Um... He wishes... I could have him do this, but to be honest, I'm not going to risk it. In theory, it has the opportunity to fail, making you uh, less fertile or potentially even not capable of having kids at all. Uh, potentially turning into a eunuch or whatever. So we're going to say, no, I don't need help. Um, if I had a bunch of kids, I might try it. But at that point, I don't really care yet. It's a little bit off. Okay, you improve relations with the mayor here. Thank you very much. Uh, but he's not what I'm looking for. What happened to the other 5%? I guess the other 5% is nothing happens. Let's see, I can try and get Gregarious, which I certainly wouldn't complain about. So let's try it, and hopefully it doesn't decrease our health. No, I don't want that. Ah, let's go to our liege. Uh, sure, let's ask him. See if we can go spend time with our liege, or who's 50 years old. <clears throat> oh good, he was happy to oblige. And now that I have some time to spend with him, I'm confident I convinced him of how alike we are and that we uh, that he only stands to gain from our friendship. Sure. Ah, because I have high diplomacy, surely we can find a common ground. What's this issue? I try my best to be conciliatory with Homiad, but we simply couldn't come to an agreement about the value of kinship and the importance of family. Ah. <clears throat> I assume this is because he has his thing set to a war focus and ours is set to family. So to us, we say family is important. He says no war is more important. So, yeah, let's uh, use our high diplomacy and improve relations with them. We now have positive relations with our liege. Not that it really means anything right this second. But actually, you know what? Maybe I'd be better served having you research military tech. Yeah. Go research military tech for now. Also, I need to survive 10 years. If we don't have a son as our first child, we are going to need this. Oh, I believe we can take concubines, and I might need to do that because... Uh, despite being married for a while now, our wife isn't pregnant. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd have to invite them. <clears throat> Is that all you got? Also, why are you... Oh, well, let's go my religious group. Thank you very much. Wow, what is going on here? <laughs> no to rulers. Uh, they do have to join my... Okay, wow, okay. We have no choices. We have one extra person at the bottom. We don't have a full second page. It's just barely started. Um... I don't think concubine stats get utilized at all. So you're mostly just looking for somebody that has good stats at the end of the day. 
or excuse me, good traits rather. Uh, to be honest, none of you have particularly good traits that I'm interested in. I'm going to be completely honest with you. These don't really matter to me. Uh, let's go with you, I guess. Invite you. I think you can have up to three. Maybe it's two. I don't know. <clears throat> Although you are ambitious, which may not be fun, because if I have an actual child with my wife, you might decide to try and kill them so that any child with you would... Oh, I suppose they don't technically have to be my religion, though, anyway. It's one thing I'm kind of forgetting. Okay, let's reset this, because it seems to have gotten confused. I think. Nope, okay. It, we literally just don't have any choices. Okay. Apparently there is no children. Like, at all. Apparently that would fit any of these categories. Although I suppose it's because you can't join the court as a child. Oh, is your relation getting a little bit better with us? Oh, you were recently fired, apparently. I didn't realize I fired you, but apparently I did. Ah, okay, he converted. Wonderful. Now I might be able to eventually give him a position if he's any good. Uh, but right now it's not letting me. Um, you know what? We'll take the court physician and we'll have him collect taxes. He's a little bit better at it. And every little bit helps. Now, out of curiosity, what are your stats? You converted. Good for you. Uh, you're slightly better than our current guy, but the game is still not letting me give you a position, so we'll just wait. Maybe I need to wait for the month to tick over. Improve relations even more. Okay, he has formed a new title. Uh, that area down there, which is going to be annoying because he'll probably give it to this guy. That has been my experience. I need to beat the crap out of you to take this. And I don't have the troops. We're, yeah. <laughs> like I said, this is the early game. It's going to be a lot of mostly just sitting around, biding our time, attempting to get things done without anything happening to us. I am still trying to sway you, right? Yes. It just doesn't seem to be really doing anything. Oh yes, are concubine stats calculated? Uh, no, just spouse. Okay. That's what I thought. It'd be a little bit OP, I think, if you could use your concubine stats to boost in something you were not particularly great at. Now, a month has ticked over. Can I give that guy his job back? No. Okay. Well, that's his problem now. Game's not letting me give him a job. Uh, no, okay, yeah, no, you're the Jewish guy. I'm not going to be able to ever convert you. Now, what's your chance of converting a subject? 16% a year. Uh, I guess we'll see if that works. Ooh. <clears throat> I think our liege finally got around to beating the crap out of somebody, or out of the army. Oh, he got wounded. Our counselor got wound, or, uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, n well, not counselor, a treasurer, whatever the generic title is. He got wounded. Maybe I should send a letter trying to commit to my good intentions. Yes, friendship between us will benefit both our realms.
or may back inform me that he is in absolute agreement good relations are a necessity between rulers as wise as us. Yes, improved relations. I think it already took it into account before we even got it. It decided that that's an automatic success anyway. <clears throat> Now, I, I don't expect him to form this duchy, even though he could, and give it to me. So we're still sort of going to be stuck sitting here waiting. Oh, our counselor died. A poor health, okay. You weren't, like, assassinated or anything like that. I still can't- oh, there we go, now I can give you a job. Game finally decided to update, so I'll let you collect taxes. Because you're also slightly better than our court physician anyway. You know what, I do want to go ahead though and up my stuff, so we're going to borrow some money from Jewish merchants. Uh, we don't have any uh, temple vassals, so nobody's really going to be able to get upset at us for this. The question is, let's go for castle walls because it does improve levy size and tax income as well. Uh, and then I think we'll go for castle town because that's tax income and, well, tax income is kind of useful. Sadly, because I don't own this, I can't, uh, you got title revocation. I can't build a trade post there. This is right on the, this is one of the areas you can build a trade post on. We are technically still along the Silk Road. If I pull up the trade map mode uh, but this one you can build a trade post at ah wife is finally pregnant it only took what when do we get married I don't think the game says which is a little surprising because I mean it's always so inclined to give you stats for things but apparently it will not tell you when you got married ah and she is apparently now because she's pregnant, praying uh, for safe labor. Okay. Yeah, you do that. Please have a son. Uh, my test run that I had shortly after Holy Fury released, uh, I ended up with like just a shit ton of daughters for this starting character. And something I completely forgot to go and mention earlier, uh, link in the description to a Google form. Oh, God. Damn it. One second. What the hell's going on here? Okay. This guy is wanting me to join him. I have to question how is this guy in any way tyrannical? Ooh, okay. Um. I gotta ask. The Abbasids are not in it. Um. I'm kinda hoping they get involved. Because if not. Our current liege is going to fail. He has a third the size of what he can raise. Although most of this guy's is from vassals. I don't know if the AI typically raises their vassals levies. Oh, do I want... I, yeah, I really don't know if I want to say yes or no to this. Uh, let, let's give it a... Oh, I can ha you're going to make me say yes or no. Okay. Uh, considering the bulk of people went and sided with you, I guess I'll accept. I don't really want to, but I'll be honest, you're more likely to win. And I'd rather be on the winning side right now. Uh, the Abbasids just join. Of, of course they fucking did. Yep. I should have declined. Uh, let's go ahead and spend some time with our wife.
So we picked the wrong side of this conflict. Uh, and there's, I can't attack anybody. Let's head over here. Is that my best guy? Yes, it is. And we have a daughter. Because of course we do. We'll teach you etiquette, I guess. Okay, you're going there. I'm gonna try and join you. Let's get the castle town because we're gonna need money. Oh good, one of our quarters has converted. Up oh, on pause. And let's tell our small army to go and follow you around. Now, all I'm going to say is this. The Abazids have their own revolt right now that they need to deal with. So that might help us out. But you, I would advise finishing off this army. Besides, our, the guy we're fighting is personally leading these troops. If you win, you might capture him and you can end this a whole hell of a lot sooner. The AI is not that smart. It's not going to realize that it's probably better spent rather than sieging the capital here, being the crap out of the army. Because if you capture the ruler, you typically can force surrender right away. Although it might vary a little bit depending on the actual size of the person you're fighting, but generally speaking, you take the leader, you have him in prison, and you can end the war right away. Sadly, we cannot. We don't currently have an heir because the game decided to give us a daughter. There we go. Are we going to make it in time or are they going to get away? December 7th? Ah, we're not going to get there till the 12th. And we're going to focus on sieging this back. I mean, you do you, game, but I'd be going after the army personally. Yeah, okay. Well, luckily the Abbasids, like I said, they have their own revolt. It's actually a lot larger than I expected. I thought it was just this group over here, but it's all the way over here as well. So the Abbasids should be distracted long enough for us to potentially actually win this. Now, I'm assuming that's going to make you the guy in charge now, so I'm going to go ahead and start swaying you instead. Oh, you improved relations with this guy. Wonderful. He really likes us, apparently, as well. But it's only temporary, I think, because he's a fellow rebel, or that's what he sees me as. Let's see. Uh, Fidel has offered to travel to the Tang Empire on a mission to bring glory to the sheikdom of Guzgan. Please, my lord, he says, let a humble servant strengthen your relations with the empire, or the emperor of the Tang Empire. So I can send random Zoroastrian person, my wife. Uh, let's not do that. Or you. What is your job? Out of curiosity, you are my counselor. Uh, I don't have a better replacement right now. Give me one second, my friend. I need to get a replacement for you. Actually, I don't mind if they're married. Welcome to the court. And you know what? I'll invite you to. That way I have a backup. Okay. Um, yeah. You go ahead. You try and do stuff with the Tang. Uh, they are currently, though, dealing with some unrest, so I don't know how well this will all work out. 
Now you have other stats, so I'm gonna think I'm gonna go with you. Oh, you're the other guy I invited. <laughs> and you ended up with a son. Oh, you're the wrong religion, my friend. Can't convert him, though. Uh, do you have any specific... Uh, okay. You know, I really don't know what to send you. Uh, what was I going to go and spend money on, and what do I have left over? I would kind of like to save up for the keep, to be honest. Uh, we're not going to spend too much, I'm sorry. There we go, we're fighting him. He did like it. Kind of. Maybe would have liked it more if I sent a more expensive gift. And... Uh, we didn't, okay, we didn't get the liege. We got somebody else. This guy down here. Um... Oh, okay. I don't think you were telling me the right spot game for whatever that was. Also, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dismiss my personal levy. <clears throat> we'll let him in. Why not? Uh, tell us more of this mythical realm of Hindustan. And then I get you. You're pretty good at martial, and you are already a Zoroastrian, so that's nice. Um, you know, I could, I could make you a commander. That would be useful. Sure, I'll accept your gift, and uh, he gets to be a commander. I kind of wish I could tell the game to not show me people that already have a job. How long has this been going for? Okay, about another half hour left for this part. <clears throat> you guys still will get two parts this week. So you'll get an hour and a half this week of uh, CK2. Let me kick the game up to four speed. This guy's taking his sweet ass time to finish this. Again, I really think he should be focusing on taking out the enemy army. How are the Abbasids doing in their war out of curiosity? Let's see, there's something different about Fadil. As we discuss his travels to the Tang Empire, he speaks passionately about a pleasure trip. Made on a beautiful lake and the magnificent landscape of the Empire. Oh my lord, we must go back, he pleads. I would gain 500 grace. If I say that's what he wants. Is there anything I can get for 500? Just out of curiosity. I could get Chinese artifacts. Uh, imperial marriage is a uh, thousand, yeah. And must have somebody who's eligible for marriage, myself or relative, specifically an heir, preferably. Ooh, okay, and in this one he leaves forever. Well, I already have a replacement, so sure. And uh, I'll take a Chinese artifact if you don't mind. What is this? Serpent Spear. Quality 2. It's not bad. I like. Oh, our character is still stressed, of course. Ah. My concubine is present. 
what? How are we away exactly? We shouldn't be away. We were here. Okay. Well, supposedly it might not be mine. Uh, I don't think I have any choices of being able to do anything about that right now. There we go. I can hire somebody to find out. Sure. It's only five gold. Uh, okay, this person has converted. They have the flu. Also... You know what, no, go back to train troops. Ah, okay, you get the job. None of you are particularly good. I can hire more. I mean, I wasn't away. I can say that with a reasonable de degree of confidence. I wasn't away. So, we're not going to spend the extra 20. We won't confront her. We'll just say that's a relief. Again, like I said, <laughs> our character wasn't away. I have them said not to lead armies. There's no way they could have been away. No. Game, I'm trying to save up money if you don't see that so no this is not a good idea stop trying to get me to send this guy crap he's not getting anything ooh and you ooh you were murdered on orders and had a daughter god damn it game again ooh and they're short attempt to save them well, at the very least, they're not going to have... Oh, he was unsuccessful. You're not married. So, you know what? Welcome aboard the train, I guess. I mean... It's a little silly if I do say so myself. <laughs> but whatever. We're going to keep sitting here and waiting. Eventually, we will get people that we want. Okay, come on. You have 4,000 troops. Go and finish off this guy. Stop sieging stuff back. AI, I understand this is a difficult concept. So long as the enemies have an army, you're not able to siege everything back quickly. Uh, let's see, it feels like everyone is trying to trump me. My huntsmen killed more prey than I. My counselor found a better solution to the rebellious peasants than mine. I started to feel that everyone was better than me no matter what. Uh, I kind of want the kind trait, to be honest. More diplomacy could help us. Ooh, and... Our court priest has decided that he thinks we should go ahead and start hunting for artifacts. Sure, go ahead and arrange a search. No. I'm trying to save money game. Quit it. I need you to understand this concept. Okay, that guy's not really important to me. I don't know why the game felt the need to tell me about this guy. The defensive pact got disbanded. And it ended. With a white piece. Because of fucking course it did. You suck, dude. You couldn't even commit. Oh, and now you're holding another rebellion. Sure, I will take your title of Chancellor. 
Oh, and how about I join your war against this guy who's decided to by himself, okay, <laughs> try and increase council power. Okay, seriously, people. Our character is a little paranoid. I say that and then we'll find out there actually is something suspicious going on there. Nope, okay, that's a relief. Now, I do have some say on my Lieges Council. Or, well, I did. Apparently I already got kicked off. Bastard. Uh, okay, our Mobod says he's making steady progress in uncovering some artifacts. Oh, large Zoroastrian uprising up there. Ah, you have been converted. And you had a daughter. Who's delicate. Okay, I mean, I suppose that could happen. I don't really care to name all the children, right now at least. Okay, seriously. Our character is way too fucking paranoid. Uh, call the court physician. How powerful are you? You have 390. You would win. You are set to train troops. I could upgrade the castle town, which would be useful. Because more tax income is always useful. If anyone tells you otherwise, they're lying. Uh, you know, you're a court physician. I can't have you do something dangerous, but you can. More daughters! Uh, and okay, our Mobot has just sent saying that we have experienced a setback. That's unfortunate. Also, I think I'm gonna have to do this myself because apparently our liege can't figure out how to do it. Oh, wow, okay, that's sizable. And our wife is pregnant, but we're, we're not going to get paranoid about her, apparently. No, 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 it's only our liege, or our concubines, that we get paranoid about. Uh, she should rest. Ooh, okay, but apparently it is proving, uh, detrimental to her mental stability. Not a good thing. Ah, oh, and... You know, if I had a son, I would try a betrothal, but I don't have a son. Ah, wonderful. Ah, uh, the Zerashian priests can be a bit irritable, and after my latest blunder, I feel the need to be extra careful around them. Too bad I can't re really rely on myself, and I am stressed to be anything else but blunt. Uh, okay, I have a chance of losing one learning, but I also lose the stress trait, which I wouldn't complain about because it is decreasing fertility as well. So let's try it, and uh, we lost it, wonderful. And we'll live with one less learning. It's not like it was that important. More daughters, because that's all we ever have, holy crap. This is why I need to set our thing to agnotic cognatic, because apparently the game will only ever give us... Ooh, wow, you're tall. Oh yes, I kind of forgot to go ahead and set things for you. Uh, you can learn humility. I honestly don't care too much for you all, if I'm going to be completely honest. You can do struggle, I guess. Um, I'll have you do heritage, and uh, you can, I don't know, do faith. I really don't care for you. 
Uh, we're not really able to make really any use out of it. Okay. Good for them, I guess. Also, I will join your war against the Buddhist uprising. I will still not help you. Holy crap, that is a really large Zoroastrian uprising. Ah, but all that stuff up there is Zoroastrian, so I can't say I'm too surprised. Wonderful, we got some tech. Still not good enough for us to... Oh, wait, no, we can do an improved keep. Wonderful. No, I am not going to send you any of my damn money. That is not the way this is going to work. <laughs> I need you all to understand that. Wife is pregnant. Please give me a son. Like, holy crap, people. You give me five daughters in a row with my wife and two concubines. Like, seriously? Why does that say Abbasid? Okay. Ah, uh, because you're a tribute state now, that's why. Ah. Uh, what happened? For some time now, I've been worried about Mobad. There was progress on, or rather, the lack thereof. Now, my worst fears have been confirmed as a consequence of his carelessness. An accident has occurred, and a large amount of the resources and documentation was ruined. Thanks, dude. Thanks for screwing that up. Uh, I regret that events have forced me to sully my hands in this matter, but unless you swear not to form new factions conspiring against me, I will not have to swear. Okay. I, I don't know what we did, but apparently he's going to blackmail us for something. A fucking chorus. Six daughters. Don't worry. <laughs> Just half a dozen more. And we'll be able to have a soccer team of daughters, I guess. Uh, we can ask to spend time with him. Yes, that I'll be okay with. Okay, let's talk privately. Concubine is pregnant, so we freak out. <clears throat> um, let's just go for the uh, high diplomacy. Okay, don't know why we're talking to this guy, but apparently we are. Uh, sure, we'll race him, why not? Other concubine is pregnant, and of course we think something fishy's going on. At this point, I'm just gonna say screw it, we're done spending five gold every single time our character decides to get paranoid. News from China. Uh, period of unrest has come to an end. Do they have? Okay, no, it's still the Tang. Okay. Yeah, I think those Buddhists are gonna win. I'm just gonna note that. Uh, has spent many weeks bent over ancient tomes and scrolls in search of more information regarding the rumored artifact. He claims to be on the right path, but apparently the progress is slow, and has asked for me to order the best scholars to aid him. Well, we're not really spreading technology anyway, out of our uh, capital. So, that's fine. We can live with a little bit less for now. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, apparently we lost the title revocation or our liege did. Holy crap, we finally got a son. <laughs> oh, and look at that. It's from the concubine rather than uh, anybody else. Okay, well, uh, you'll keep that name, sure. And I'm going to personally teach you. And uh, I'm going to have you go with struggle. You're homely, so you're not exactly the most attractive, apparently. Another son. Wow, game. You decided you didn't want me to have a women's soccer team. I will teach you pride. Uh, also, make sure that you do indeed consider me to be your guardian. So I do get the events. Rest of those people I don't give a crap about. Court tutor, I guess we can set our wife to be the court tutor. Or, well, we would if we could, but apparently we can't. Uh, apparently I can only sell my concubines. I don't know why. Uh, let's go and start reading a book. Yes, I need more martial power, but diplomacy is also useful. Because if our liege ever decides to get off his ass and uh, build this duchy for us, he could give it to us. A uh, destitute noble from a former enemy court asks for hospitality. Uh, I don't know who you are. I want to spend money to get some random guy? No, I'll take the piety, thank you very much. No, let's eat a little bit more, I guess. It's not going to get us gluttonous, at least right now. This would potentially result in us getting stressed again. So, uh, we'll eat a bit more. Uh, we're not going to go for fat. Geez, seven years? Okay, it says potentially become fat. But it increases fertility, apparently. Sure, our character will be fat. Somehow that increases fertility. Okay, and our wife says, oh, okay, that's a little too fat. Ah, uh, sure. We'll try, I guess. Uh, I mean, we weren't even fat for that long. It was like two days, maybe. <laughs> Whatever game. Apparently, we already have to throw out all of our old clothes. No, we're not going to spend any money to improve relations with our liege. I'm sorry, game. It doesn't work like that. Oh, he's formed this title. Please give it to me. I'm your best friend, remember? Well, I'm not, but... You know, I haven't tried to screw you over. So that's all the more reason you should give it to me. That's exactly why he won't give it to me, though. Let's be honest here. Castle infrastructure, what does that get me? Ah, some stuff that could be useful, I guess. Okay, uh, rumors of the military might of the Tang Empire is providing, or proving to be a forceful diplomatic tool in itself. After what seems like brief negotiations, uh, Kagan, G, what? Uh, whatever. 
of some combinate up here. I don't know which one. Uh, has become a tributary of the Middle Kingdom. Good for them, I guess. If I had more troops, I would gladly help our liege a little bit more in his issues with the Buddhists down here. But, uh, yeah, I don't exactly have troops, so... He's kind of on his own, really. I can try and help a little. Okay. Oh, we have diarrhea. Okay, court physician. It's time for you to... You suck at this, you really do. My wife, Asa, has been really letting herself go as of late. Was once a graceful and delicate woman, has slowly become an undignified and hefty glutton. Only excited about her next great feast. So this guarantees an improved opinion uh, this I don't know if it even would improve opinion at all and presumably has a chance of decreasing it uh, okay apparently in her case fat decreases okay so it's not listing a de an increase in fertility with fat uh, though the game did mention it did so whatever <laughs> um I mean, it certainly wouldn't hurt to have some more kids. At least, potentially. That will be nice. We'll inform her as nicely as possible, I guess. Uh, we are no longer suffering from diarrhea. And she didn't take our advice. Let's write a highly detailed letter explaining to our liege how friendship is wonderful. We're almost at 50. Maybe at 50 he'll decide to give us the uh, territory. I kind of doubt it, but you never know. I would be happy if he gave us the territory, though, if I'm going to be completely honest with you all. Let, I kind of want to go and search for a smith, to be honest. Yeah, those Buddhist rebels won. Ah. You have collected a special tithe. Thank you. Wow, you are sympathetic to Jews, Christians, and then you are also now Zoroastrian. Also, I'm surprised you don't have sympathetic to... Um, Muslims. Just because it's you were Sunni originally, dude. Apparently you don't have sympathy for your, the religion you were at the game start. Oh, did these guys like just fall apart? I think they did. But sadly, I'm not really in a position to go and beat the crap out of any of them. Or is it a rebellion? No, it doesn't look like a rebellion. Oh, and the Buddhists have formed their own kingdom now. Uh, no, I'm sorry, game. I kind of need the troops, so... I can't really spare those reinforcements. Wonderful. Improve relations with our liege. Give me the damn duchy. If you give me the duchy, I can increase my power... And I can help you take back these Buddhist territories. Some of which are Zoroastrian, so I kind of have my own reason for taking them. Oh. And our liege's wife is dead. Looks like he already got married, though, as soon as she died. Uh, I don't really need to go for Agnotic Cognatic, though.
you know, I could go with seniority. Yeah, you know, I really don't want to do Gav uh, Galvakine, to be honest. Although I am, uh, well, you know, you're all around better so far. <laughs> you have one of everything, um, and you don't have a negative trick beyond Child of Concubine. Our current heir, he has Homely. So, there's a attraction negative applied to that. So I might be interested in going for elective. And I'm pretty sure we'd be the only elector right now. So it's not necessarily terrible. Let's go for elective monarchy. And uh, I'm going to select you. I'm sorry, you are the best person right now. I'm going to go ahead though and crush these guys. Sadly, we didn't quite get the ruler. That would have been a nice little bonus, but it didn't happen, sadly. Are you, in a, you are in a war, actually. Should probably join that. I didn't realize you were actively in a war. Oh. And apparently he's suffering from, uh... Cancer. That's not good, my friend. Now, why did our relations go down? You are... Yeah, I mean, you already have the bonus for... Uh, from playful to an intrigue education, and it's not a... You're not far behind it, so sure. Let's write about his deeds, I guess. I think that is what he'll like the most. Marvelous! He loved it. Well, he was touched, at least. So what do you say about giving me that duchy now, huh? Apparently he owes money to the Jews as well. <laughs> I'm assuming he probably used the money to recruit mercenaries. Yeah, because he had like 2,000 troops. I think he got a loan from Jewish moneylenders to recruit mercenaries. Well, we use that money to pay for upgrading our stuff. Oh, and that's the timer that I set. <clears throat> that's kind of an annoying sound, to be honest. <laughs> Uh, uh. Well, actually, I should probably name this um, ROC Part 1. Okay, so that's going to be it for this part. I'm going to go ahead and record the next part immediately after this. Um, again, link in the description to a Google form if you want to have a character named after you. Go fill it out. It'll ask you if you're a patron, yes or no. If you say yes, it'll ask you for a patron name just for verification purposes. If you say no, it'll take you straight to the uh, selecting a gender for the child, if you care. Um, and then putting in whatever name. I do want to note regarding names, some names I will say no to. Uh, for example, if you say you want to have a child named Balls Deep 69 or something retarded like that, not happening. But something like North or Shadow something that's like just a word I'm okay with but yes so that'll be it for this part I will see you all in the next one I don't exactly know yet when I'm recording this uh, what days of the week I'll be uploading this 
uh, but I am thinking Wednesday and Friday. So, but whatever. That's beside the point for you guys. So I will see you all in the next part. But until then, a goodbye and a farewell.